What is the phenomenon of the Ukrainian defensive operation in Bakhmut? To begin with urban combat is one of the most difficult types of combat in the operational art, plus the terrain itself is not easy for the occupants. When we scale the entire front and the southern and eastern, Bakhmut is only a small area. And how is it that endless cannon fodder has been storming such a small area with huge losses for 10 months? A plot where tens of thousands of occupants were ground up in the soulless meat grinder of Bakhmut. And it's not just there. And Vuglida, and other areas where they try to implement their plans, where they suffer defeat after defeat. We can see that even where they have had limited success, where they have been able to advance a little bit, this is happening in small sections of the front. What to speak of any more significant strategic operations that they have announced. For example, the capture of the city of Zyporizhia, or the return of the shamefully abandoned Kherson. The Russian occupiers, having entered the eastern sector of the city, the dormitory district, advanced as far as the Bakhmutovka river and got stuck. In order to reach the right bank, it is necessary to take a position, to bring up equipment for forcing the water barrier, to start forcing, with accumulated forces and means. How do you do that if the left bank is shot 400 meters deep? The answer is simple, no way. They will have to sit in the residential district until the end of time and chew their putties while receiving regular shelling that does not allow them to restore combat effectiveness, accumulate ammunition and prepare to rush to the river crossing. The southern location is under full control of the AFU. Russian troops tried to break through the southern defenses, but they were very symbolically broken up right in the local cemetery. In fact, it becomes a sacred place for them, they go to storm through the cemetery and that's where they all stay. I cannot talk about the short-term prospect of a breakthrough of the defense of the southern sector of Bakhmut. Russian troops currently do not have it, unless they pull in a more serious strike force there and concentrate fire pressure. But they can't do that because they don't have the necessary resources. On the northern location of Bakhmut, however, things are very complicated. That is where the most desperate and hysterical pressure is being exerted by Russian troops right now. However, natural barriers are also lines of defense, which make it possible to effectively repel waves of assault minced meat. The logistical arteries of the Ukrainian fighters have no chance of being cut by the occupiers in the short term. There are enough resources for that, but they are now all concentrated in the north, east and south of the city. Pull back the resources to storm the tracks, they will get a counter-attack and lose what they have been occupying for all 10 months. In turn, to increase the pressure on the north and south to break into the center, two cannot because the weakening would entail the collapse of the flanks. In other words, for the Russian troops in Bakhmut now looms a kind of Euroboros. Wherever and however they move, they will be chewing their own tail or ass. And this situation can only be solved by the redeployment of additional forces and resources. And not small, up to 30 battalion tactical group, but there are none.